Welcome to the Incredible Five Point Scale Training. My name is Emilia Amy and I'm an advisory teacher at CESP. So in this short presentation, this is what we would like to accomplish. We'd like to know what it is and why we use it. How does it work? What's the reasoning behind it? Which behaviours does it benefit being used for? Where do we even start with the five point scale? And finally, teaching the five point scale. So the five point scale is an emotional regulation tool based on substantial research. Many pupils actually benefit from the use of a visual support rather than lots of conversation or words. And the five point scale specifically helps to manage the emotional states and provide language that is used to express the emotional state. Take a look at this scale. You'll notice that there are some numbers on the left, a space to recall, record a feeling or a person or a place that relates to the emotional state that you're in. And then also a pictorial representation of what this feeling or this level might actually look like. Put simply, the five point scale simplifies behavior using number, color, and description. They can be used for a specific individual. It also can be used to help put language around the behaviors experienced in a particular state, such as anxiety, anger, or fear. The reasoning behind the five point scale is quite interesting. The use of numbers and colors really helps to reduce the language for the child in terms of their emotional state. And the notes that are actually written on the back or beside the numbers or the pictures allow the adult to provide some sort of support with language on calming strategies to help the child return to their ground zero or level one calm happy state. There are a number of situations which may well warrant the use of a five point scale. One of them could be helping pupils maintain a right level of noise in a classroom or helping them manage their emotions or even with dealing with obsessive behaviors. There may be many other ideas that you could come up with. So where do we start? Well, firstly, the child needs to be in a calm state. When you speak with the child, it's important to have the pictures and the words that they would want to use when they're in a particular emotional state. It helps to take up ownership. Let's take a little time to break down these slides. Level five can be a heightened state of emotion, anger, rage, or even excitedness. And just to note, any emotion that we experience is neither good nor bad. It's just an indication of where we are within our body based on external stimuli. When at level five, what does that look like for the child? They could be screaming, hiding under the table, shouting, banging their heads on the wall. What does it feel like? Within the child themselves, they may describe at some point that they feel hot, that they've got itchy arms, that they can't keep still. The people they can go to or the strategies they can use are useful to note here. That emotionally available adult needs to be nearby to help the child co-regulate. It takes an adult mind to help the child's mind to make sense of their environment, their situation and their circumstance. 
So sending a child to go to the calm corner by themselves may be useful for a moment so that they can employ some strategies which you will tell them or suggest for them to do, but they shouldn't remain there by themselves. It needs an adult to help with the processing. The same is for level four. With regards to levels three, two and one, useful conversations that the adult can have with the child in order to co-regulate them are really important. Acknowledging when they're in level one, well done, you're doing really well. You've used your strategy to pull your chair in and sit closer to your table, or you've taken a drink. Whatever the language is, is useful to be reinforced and repeated for the children. So you look like you're at level three. What strategy should we use here? How are you feeling? I've noticed that you've been tapping on the table. All of this can be done with the class teacher, the TA, an emotionally available adult. It all helps to reinforce the learning and the connections that the child needs in order to manage their emotions well. Here's an example of a scale that is to do with volume regulation for a child. What might you put in the right hand column in terms of strategies or even how the child might be feeling or behaving? Here is another example of a completed five point scale. And it's useful to talk about how important water is in regulating mood. There are multiple studies which have been conducted on how water can affect some of the mental states that we may find ourselves in as adults, let alone as children. Depression, confusion and fatigue are often influenced by the level of water we drink and the fact that sometimes it can also influence your sleep and therefore impact your emotional state during the day in the classroom. It's a useful resource to allow a child to have a sip of water when they feel dysregulated. Teaching the five point scale. Always work one to one with the child in order to teach them what the steps feel like and look like. Direct teaching can involve the use of social stories or visual cues that can help with the explanation of the information. Concrete materials that the student can use to practice with could involve a chart, uh, the actual resources in terms of a stress ball or blue tack. Always have those to hand while you are doing the training. Model every strategy for the child so that they know what it looks like, what it sounds like. Repeat and keep repeating as necessary until the child begins to manage and demonstrate some of those strategies in the moment and even out of the moment. Remember that the teaching sequence must be done when the child is at level one or in the green zone on the five point scale. Thank you for taking time to walk with me and to learn about the five point scale. I wish you well on your journey. And remember, repetition is the mother of mastery. So practice, practice, practice. Thank you.